Early tomorrow morning, more than 90 World War II veterans will board a plane for a trip of a lifetime. It is the latest tribute in a program called Honor Flight San Diego. Here's 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with why this trip will mark a first. We'd not no. heard about it at all. Annie Muller and her husband Chuck have both been to Washington, D.C., but never as part of an honor flight. We have not seen the World War II monument. Seen here in a previous trip, the monument opened in 2005. The um, airfare through the hotels. Out of his home in Rancho Penasquitos, Dave Smith helps plan and coordinate virtually every minute of a trip solely designed to honor World War II veterans. And in the case of the Mullers, they'll be among the first veteran couples to take the trip. I went in in 1944 and it was the height of the war. And he's joined the Navy and became a pharmacist mate working at the old Naval Hospital in Corona. We got to England in June of uh, 1943. Chuck was in an aviation battalion and landed at Utah Beach 10 days after D-Day. Like the thousands who worked on and flew in the B-24 bomber back in the day, time has taken its toll. It's why there's such an urgency with Honor Flight San Diego. Nationally, World War II veterans are being lost at a rate of 1,000 a day. As a matter of fact, on this trip, there were about five or six that uh, had passed away before we were able to uh, get them back to Washington, D.C. So for the Mullers, they can hardly wait. Together, more than 60 years, you might be wondering how they met. Well, Annie happened to know Chuck's cousin, and when she came to visit... He was with his girlfriend and when, <laughs> when we came into the room. And the next day, he came back without his girlfriend. They were married three years later in 1950. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Oh, that's a great story. The rest is history. To get more information on Honor Flights, click on the red TV button on 10news.com.